from the beginning, from Namaste Rudramanyava until here, we chant together. You try. Uh, om, yes, Om Namo Bhagavate Rudraya. Start. Om Namo Bhagavate Rudraya. Om Namaste Rudra Manyava Utata Isha Venamaha Namaste Astu Dhanvane Bahu Bhyamutate Namaha Yata Ishu Sivatama Sivam Babhovate Dhanoho Siva Saravyaya Tavataya Naru Dramrudaya Yate Rudra Siva Tanu Raghora Papakasini Tayana Stanu Vasanta Maya Girisanta Bichakasi Yamishum Girisanta Haste Bibarjasta Ve Sivam Giri Tratam Kuru Mahigum Shi Purushan Jagat Sivena Vache Sattva Girishat Chavadamasi Yathana Sarvami Jagat Yekshmagam Sumana Asat Ajavo Jadadi Vakta Prathamo Devyo Bishak Ahigum Shasarvan Yambhayan Sarvascha Yadu Dhanyaha Asauyas Tamro Aruna Uta Babro Sumangalaha Ye Che Magum Rudra Abhito Dikshu Srita Saha Srasovai Shagum Heda Imahe Asau Yavasar Pati Nila Grivo Vilohitaha Utainam Gopa Adrusen Nadrusen Nuda Hariyaha Utainam Vishwa Bhutani Sadrushto Mrudayatinaha Astuni Ila Grivaya Sahasrakshaya Midushe Atoye Asya Satvano Hamde Bhyo Akaram Namaha Pramuncha Dhanvana Stvamubhayo Rārtni Yodhyam Yaschate Hasta Ishavaha Parata Bhagavo Vapa Avata Chadhano Stvagum Sahasrakshasete Shudhe Nisirya Silya Namukha Sivona Sumana Bhava Vijyam Dhano Kapardino Visalyo Bana Vagum Uta Anesana Seshava Abhura Syani Shangadhihi Yadehe Dirmi Dostama Haste Babo Vate Danoho Tayasman Visvetan Tomaye Shmaya Pari 
भूजा नमस्ते अस्तुधाताय धृष्णवे उभाभ्या मुदते बाहुभ्यावधन्वने परिथे धन्वनो हेतिरस्मृण तो विश्व अथो यशुधि स्तवारे अस्मेहित ओके सो द नेक्स्ट वन हाई आटर यू रिपीट ट्वाइस वॉन्स अगेन नमस्ते अस्तु भगवन विश्वराय महादेवाय त्रियंबकाय त्रिपुरांतकाय कालाग्निद्राय नीलकंठाय मृत्युंजयाय सर्वेश्वराय सदाशिवाय श्रीमन्महादेवाय नम श्रीमन्मेवाय नम नमो हिण्य बाहवे से नान्ये दिशा पतये नमो नमो वृक्षेभ्यो हरिकेश्य पशूना पतये नमो नमो नम नमो नम सस्पिंजराय मते पथीना पतये नमो नमो बुषा बुषा 
विव्याधिने नमो नमो हरिकेशोपीति ने पतये पतये नमो 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 भवस्य भवस्य जगता पतये नमो 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 रुद्राया तथा विने क्षेत्राण पत नमो नम नमो नम सूताया हंचा वना पत वना पत नमो नमो रोहिताय स्थपत वृक्षाण पत नमो नमो मंत्रिणे वाणिजाय कक्षाण पत नमो 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 भुवंत वारिवस्कृतावस्कृतवस्कृतवस्कृतवस्कृतवस्कृतवस्कृतवस्कृतवस्कृतवस्कृतवस्कृतवस्कृतवस्कृतवस्कृतवस्कृतवस्कृतव
कृष्ण वीताय धावते सत्वनाम पतये नमः हियर सत्वनाम इज थ्वा इज ऑन शार्ट सम वन इज अटरिंग इलांगेटेड इट इज इट इज नॉट सत्वाया सत्वानाम इट इज सत्वनाम सम वन ओनली वन पर्सन इज इलांगेटिंग सत्वनाम पतये नमः Again, somebody says Satvanam Pataye. No, it is Satvanam Pataye, not Satvanam. Satvanam Pataye Namaha. Satvanam Pataye Namaha. Satvanam Pataye Namaha. Right, perfect. <laughs> Because even if one person deviates, I can listen. Because there is. little deviation <laughs> sometimes what happens not not sometimes always when you make a little change then the meaning changes <laughs> yes this intonation you have because the vedic text the vedic science as in the very beginning i told you the vedic wisdom has seven has six keys six keys and the seventh is the master key who uses the keys so intonation is one of the six keys the science of intonation that is called shiksha intonation shiksha shiksha is the first key to unlock shiksha शिक्षा इज दिस साइंस ऑफ इंटरनेशन हाउ यू हैव टू अटर विद द इंटरनेशन बिकॉज द इंटरनेशन वाइल अटरिंग द मंत्रास द इंटरनेशन इट इट मेक्स द एनर्जी एंड ऑल्सो it makes the meaning also you said the uh, first six cases and seven what no, six keys not cases key key ah key keys keys not cases six keys and the seventh the seventh is the master key the one who unlocks this <coughs> the master key the one who uses the key also is a key <laughs> it is seven you see when you in the in the bank you have some lockers you put your things so when you go you have to open then the bank fellow with the master key also turn otherwise it will not open so in the same manner you are the master key <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> so this is science of intonation. <clears throat> Because all the mantras, what you find in the Vedic text, they require all the six keys, and this intonation 
exactly how it is given is to be uttered like that otherwise it changes the meaning also and the energy also meaning also because uh, where to pause where to do this read this <laughs> For example, there is a word called a word Indra Shatru. Shatru means enemy. Indra Shatru means enemy of Indra. Indra is the chief of the devas. So Indra Shatru means enemy of indra means the devilish the, the devilish fellows because there is always between the devas and between the devils there is always a conflict so indra shatru so there is a ritual where you want to destroy you want to get the dark forces be destroyed in you and increase the power of the divine forces so in the mantra when you utter indra shatru nasyet so let the enemy of indra should be destroyed but while uttering by mistake if you say just indra shatru nasayata then what happens indra shatru indra the enemy should be destroyed so what happens you are uttering that indra is your enemy should be destroyed then you will be destroyed <laughs> just the intonation changes the meaning <laughs> indra shatru it means the the enemy indra should be destroyed so it should be uttered only as indra shatru indra shatru yes indra shatru indra shatru if you say indra shatru then changes the meaning <laughs> So it is so important intonation. Very delicate. Very delicate. Yeah. <laughs> 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 huh? <laughs> no, you can say by knowing. If you know, you will. That is why you have. You are given the key. When the key is with you, then you will not make any mistake. <laughs> already several times i told about this keys hmm shiksha is the first key the second is called vyakarana vyakarana means grammar the key of grammar the grammatical key first is intonation shiksha second is grammar not glamour <laughs> <laughs> grammar key of grammar by saying grammar generally we understand just just the just the grammar of any language yes but the grammar of any language but here the grammar applying grammar in a significant manner that gives the key when you when you utter certain mantras when you know the when you know the grammar of this 
when you utter this, then you will know what is the significance of uttering this in this particular case. You know, you have seven cases. So, if a particular thing is uttered in the first case, then it is an addressal. You are addressing. Oh Rudra, so if I say, hey, hey Rudra, so it is addressal. It is addressing Rudra. Rudra. When you are only mentioning Rudra, for example, Rudraha means you are only mentioning. Rudraha, if you in any, in any sentence, if you say, Rudraha gachatu or Rudraha agachatu, so Rudraha here only mentioning. But if, if you want to, if this word is Rudra is uttered in the second case, in the second case, it is called accusative, the second case. So then you are involving Rudra as the object of your perception. So this will not be elaborated. If you put this in second case, that means if you if this rudra is rudrena rudrena this is third the third case instrumental so if you put this word rudrena that means you are using the rudra as an instrument that is implied so just by observing the word in a particular case in grammar that itself will will explain you for which purpose this is used. So that is that is how you use the grammar key. <laughs> how many cases Seven. Seven. The cases <laughs> are How many in Russian? Uh, before, uh, the, 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 before uh, so, uh, division it was seven, then afterwards, uh, now it became six. Oh. But before it was seven. Seven. Then two were like, uh, one. Amalgamated. Uh, uh, became one. Became one. Because uh, during our history, we have several reforms. Uh, the forms. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have uh, 53 letters. Now we have only 33. And uh, now it, uh, uh, they try to eliminate one more letter. It is pure. Well, it is clear with two points. And now uh, more and more uh, they don't use in mass media and everywhere. So they try to, to take it away. Unfortunately. Because it is very rich. The language is very rich. They just simplify, simplify, simplify. The fourth, the fourth case is called a dative, dative case. So, if you put the word in fourth case, for example, Sivaya, Sivaya is Rudraya, Sivaya is the fourth case. Om Namo Bhagavate Rudraya Rudraya is in fourth case. So when it is in fourth case, that means what you said to you, to, you, to Rudra, for Rudra. It is for Rudra. It is for when you put in fourth case, that means you are totally offering without any expectation. That is implied in fourth case. So, gura, Namaste, Gurave, Namaste, uh, Gurave for the Guru, Vishnave for Vishnu. So like this, any, when you want to totally offer or surrender, then you simply put this in the fourth case. When you observe the word in the fourth case, that means you know that it is a total surrender, a total sacrifice. Yeah. <laughs>